This is the Texas Go Radio Show, and I'm your host, Matorius. This is part four of the 1729 live stream that is taking place today. More! Come on, you're safe. Here's some hot cocoa in a blanket. What happens to that kid? Do you think they, do you want them in your neighborhood? Do you want someone that was a, a victim of child sex trafficking living down the street from you? Is there any way they're now a predator? Maybe. Okay, so all of this is highly inappropriate. Not, I'm not saying that there's not a possibility, but you can't. He's, he's doing something extremely dangerous right now. And I don't know what the, the reason for it is. But like I said in another video, just because you were molested doesn't mean you're going to be a molester. Just because you were molested doesn't mean that you are now homosexual. And vice versa. Now, there are correlations, absolutely. But that it's not a rule of thumb. They now have to be in an institution forever because they're so fucked up. They're broken. OK, and that's why a lot of these people realize that there is no tax money to help these people. The only way to help these people is to not get them victimized. That comes from a strong family, strong nation, compassion, you know, trust, being there with your kids. This is a, it's about prevention. And I'm from a town where I watch what the, the predators. I am an expert at this shit being from Oswego, New York. They go after the families with the drunk dad, the single mom, the abuse, the need for a father figure. So we are probably, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes in. I have no idea, to be honest with you. And he's repeating the same things over and over and over again, using universal truths and manipulating those for his own personal uh, Owen Benjamin gospel. I am an expert in this being from where I am. You know, the, the kids that no one believes, they ad hominem the kid, they make them feel crazy like no one will believe it. They, they associate themselves with God. They associate themselves with power. They do a lot of philanthropy, right? It's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Now, if you want to actually be part of the solution, it's not sexy and easy. You don't get to pay 20 bucks to Jim Krabazel with his broken balls and his dude wife, all right? Oh, how dare you? There's no reason for that at all. At all. That's needless attacks, needless vulgarity. And yet he's preaching the gospel of Owen Benjamin, which says, I am the only way. You pay me and we fight it every day here. Not true at all. He's saving the kid. No, no, no. Whenever you see that, whenever you see people that are widely known as, as saving the children, they're typically the ones that are up to something. I'm not making any accusations, but from what... what Bill Clinton has a hospital in Little Rock, Arkansas, for the victims of rape. Can't make this shit up. It's a pattern, okay? And you want to call me schizophrenic or a conspiracy theorist or blah, blah, blah. I was right. I was right back then, and I'm right fucking now, okay? They hide in plain sight, and they do it behind the guise of helping the very people that they're attacking. You remember that? That sounds a whole lot. That sounds very familiar about the whole Beritaria scam and his his personal way of uh, his personal business model. Dude in England, um, Jimmy Savile had a hospital to help children. They always do this shit. Be very, very wary of people that are publicly and corporate and charity and 501c3. And they're, they're stopping, they're stopping the damage of the children, but they never name anyone. No one ever goes to prison. Right. And uh, unlike Owen, who publicly names a whole lot of people without any evidence whatsoever. Without any evidence whatsoever. So what's more what's more detrimental? A movie that gives light and uh, knowledge to the masses as as far as what could possibly be going on or what is going on or somebody that just throws out the accusations as though it's candy to children. Didn't mean to make that word i did not mean to word it that way they just have a lot of access and a lot of status and a lot of uh you know cloaking you ever you ever noticed that i've noticed that anyway so this is my advice on lgbt hey guys i've learned a lot of stuff from farming and cultivating and i want to share that with when it comes to parenting and nation building and trees um, I'm going to fast forward it through this because you can go to his Instagram and see it yourself. Ernest, 
porn and great LGBT going to hell. You're yes. so like let's say you won. you took too much fruit too early. Whether well, actually is a buddy, and you just say it's great. You're raised. Hey, imagine if I was mad at you. near the chicken. Dad, their hero, except the sin, is an alcoholic town. I do. Guys, like, oh, you know. All right, so I just fast forwarded it. All right, you guys are right, getting, getting, getting it. Maybe I was with you, but you said no roofs. I did another video about that, about religious zealotry and how to guide society into a position where you could put sodomites in jail. We're not even close to there yet. Uh, maybe I'll play that later, but um, it, you, you can't do it unless the majority is already on board and living normally. Right now, we're in a compassion stage where we have to just keep guiding people back to the truth, you know? And that's why, I, like, we'll openly share my family with the world to show people what a good family looks like. Because I know the, the risks and the fears, and that's why these movies about taking kids and all that, it makes you never want to share anything about your family publicly, right? But I know that I'm here for a reason. Like, I, my life is really starting to play out. Like, I have a very important thing to tell people. I'm from hell. Like, my town is, like, as far as I just showed you, it was, like, infested with abuse and pedophile. Notice that he played something, and now he's a lot calmer. Something is, he, he is practicing something. I don't know what it is. You can't see what he's doing, whether it's it's breathing exercises or something, but he's way calmer now than he was. And so him playing things that everybody has already seen, that's a technique of his because he knows that if he is just allowed to spiral, then the truth from the abundance of his heart, his mouth will speak inevitably. And I had a, a good family for a lot of, in a lot of ways. And I've been given these gifts to communicate and to hold people's uh, attention, all this stuff. And... By showing people what a good kid looks like or like what a family looks like, that actually does good for the world. And so here's my son. That's a universal truth. And uh, it's hard to, I mean, I wouldn't disagree with that. But like, like I've noted before, he's going to throw that universal truth on a hook just to re reel you in for the gospel of Owen Benjamin. This is, uh, this is I'll just show you just two little videos. He was singing me a song because untraumatized kids are awesome. I mean, it's like, it's like such a miracle, you know, and I'm a flawed guy. It's like all kinds of my own problems and all that, but just look at my kids. They're fucking incredible. And the future's so bright and it's all about, you know, they want to be good. They really do. Like when you see these like really messed up kids, it's because they're trying to appeal to the authority they've been given in these fucked up environments. You know, it's like they go to school, their teacher tells them that they should be on pills if they're like antsy and they like boys can't play and girls should be boys and girls should be CEOs and being married to slavery and white skin means you're the devil and wear a mask or you kill your grandma. It's fucking hell, man. And so I've been given this gift, this blessing to be able to live the way I live on a farm with my family. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like. on the Being given a blessing, earning a blessing or proverbially, not even proverb, stealing a quote unquote blessing. Veritarious scam, that's the foundation of all of this. That's why. That's what it always goes back to. And so he's saying this, saying, look at my life. This is how you know that I'm of God, for God, by God, is because of all of this that I've been blessed with. Well, it's ill-gotten gains. That's what it is. Other side of the fence. Here is my son, because I'm not just here to complain. People, oh, you don't like the movie? Nothing makes you happy. You're like a black, dark cloud. The sound of freedom is saving the children. We're going to get Hillary in the sewer this time. Really? Okay, here is, uh, here is, like, some roses. He said, well, before I was recording that, he goes, well, people Okay, so I fast-forwarded that because it's not about his children. That's not what these videos are about. And I would appreciate if people in the comments section, like I've said before, I'm not going to delete your comments. I'm just requesting people to leave his kids alone don't understand about money is money will buy you really bad food because the best food in the world doesn't need any money and so when people are poor they don't know that their life is still really good just pure okay here is uh, a gardening update so i'm going to show you the micro and macro of how to stop child abuse start in your family with high trust you know um uh don't seek out idols don't seek out false authority men in your community to be the father for your kid you know don't turn a blind eye don't do any of that shit 
Get them in nature. Dirt's free. Sun's free. Water's free. I don't want to hear a single fucking excuse about it. I know my greenhouse is pretty epic and I got raised beds and all that because this is my job. But you can have these times with your kids because the sound of freedom. Because this is my job. And it all started back with a Bertoria scam. Expects these overworked parents to pressure their local aldermen to stop human trafficking in the jungles of Colombia. It's retarded. Start with teaching your kid how to grow a fucking cuc cucumber, okay? Let's actually stop the cycles. Let's actually raise generations where maybe in 50, 80 years, we'll see a world with less trauma. It's going to take a while. Guys, we're planting seeds right now. We're just in the process of planting seeds. We're cultivating a better nation, okay? And it takes time. You can't just zap it. You can't just say, well, I just watched Universal. He's pulling on the heartstrings of people, potential victims. That's what it is. And that's one of the reasons why this is such gross, disingenuine behavior is because although it seems genuine and and he's coming across in some kind of a, a, a saviorish kind of way. It all falls back onto what is his motivation. And you see time and time again, his motivation is money, is power. He wants to be a king of his own castle with his lieutenants and his family running a restaurant in town. That's, I mean, everybody's got to have a, a man without a vision will perish, but it just depends on how you accomplish that vision and manipulating people and being a predator and that type of, that's not how to do it. I'm Savizel's movie and now we're fighting pedophilia. No, you're, you're, you're just, you're medicating yourself with bullshit. And it's not that I hate the movie. I hate the marketing. I hate that. I really do hate it. I like the fact that the same right wing scum are running around saying, if people are not talking about this movie, it's because they're pedophiles. You know, I watched that shit with the Donald Trump thing, and I briefly supported that orange face, fuck face, because I thought he... All right, so this is... <laughs> this is the Texas Go Radio Show, and I'm your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.